Hello Capricorn, Sun and Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy between you and the person you're connecting with or will be connecting with. We have pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you, and then we also have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Uh, this is very similar to like the page of swords to the devil. So you could be connecting with a Gemini, possibly even another Capricorn. Doesn't necessarily have to be the case, but somebody suspects that somebody's up to no good. Now, with all of that being said, let's see how this all plays out. We're going to focus on you first, and then we're going to jump over to them. Still keep in mind, you might resonate more so with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me. And that's okay. Just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with. How does Capricorn currently view this relationship? We have the Ten of Swords. We also have the Two of Pentacles. And then we also have the Ten of Pentacles. I do want to clarify the um, Ten of Swords when I get right back to you. But you're not necessarily very fond of your King of Cups right now, okay? Um, I keep wanting to say that the vast majority of you may suspect that this person's up to no good. I keep wanting to say that, especially with the devil being out here, a lot of you suspect that this person's up to no good. Um, now, this could also indicate you, you essentially stumbling across some sort of information that's really upsetting you, really pissing you off. Um, but instead of you lashing out at this person or even confronting this person, you're choosing to kind of keep it to yourself with the strength card being out here. Now I kind of feel like you're currently in this overall energy of contemplating whether or not this is something that you want to continue to be a part of. But I keep wanting to say that, you know, the vast majority of you are stumbling across some sort of information that's going to really piss you off, that's going to really upset you. Keep in mind time is full. It's either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. Um, and once you do, and if you have already, I kind of see you biting down on your tongue, not choosing to confront this person by any means. I kind of feel like if anything, you're going to retract your energy from this person in particular to really sit back and contemplate whether or not continuing on within this relationship with this person is something that you want to do now you have the eight of pentacles you also have temperance and the queen of pentacles on your side i mean queen of pentacles is your overall energy regardless of your gender you're definitely in your element which is something that i really do like to see but i completely understand why you're frustrated and why you're pissed off with this person especially because you have temperance on your side that's kind of telling me throughout this whole entire relationship between you and this person You've honestly tried your hardest to not only maintain the relationship that you share with this person, but you also came in with this overall energy of genuinely having this person's best interests at heart. And the fact that you're stumbling across this information that's very upsetting, it, it, it kind of feels like a slap in the face is the best way I can kind of describe what it is that I'm seeing. It feels like a slap in the face, especially because I feel like you were very, very good to this person. So the fact that they did whatever it is that they did, uh, that's currently upsetting you, that's currently pissing you off. It just feels like a slap in the face. It feels like um, you kind of devoted yourself to somebody who wasn't deserving of everything that you essentially bring to the table because you are somebody who brings a lot to the table, by the way. That's one thing that I am kind of getting off of you. For some of you, you might even make more money than this person. I'm kind of getting that for some of you. Let's look at your person. How does this person currently view this relationship? Hmm. Yep, 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 yep. We have the High Priestess. We also have the Eight of Swords. And then we also have the Ten of Swords. Like I said, for those of you who have already stumbled across this information, you're more than likely giving this person the silent treatment. For those of you who haven't stumbled across this information that's very upsetting, that you find it to be extremely distasteful, I see you retracting your energy and then giving this person the silent treatment. But with the high priestess being out here, um, the fact that you are kind of giving this person the cold shoulder and you're not necessarily talking to this person that much, it is kind of driving this person a little bit bananas, okay? Um, I want to see why, though. I mean, I know why. I mean, this person on an intuitive level feels like something's wrong, something's not right. Um, this person also thinks that this relationship between you and them might be coming to an end, especially because you're kind of 
you're acting different towards them. That's the best way I can describe what it is I'm seeing. You're definitely acting different towards them. So if you're the type of person that, you know, your your communication with this person is on point and then you decide to retract your energy and not really talk to them all that much, they're going to notice the shift. They're going to notice the change within you and it's going to concern this person. Let's see the Eight of Swords. Can I more about the Eight of Swords? You could be dealing with somebody who's extremely cerebral, so possibly a Gemini, maybe even a Libra or an Aquarius, but they're definitely thinking about you a lot. That's one thing that I will say. A lot of swords on this person's behalf. A lot of swords. Yep, yep, yep. So the Page of Wands, it basically represents somebody who's on the receiving end of communication, right? Um, I kind of feel like for the most part, a lot of you might decide to just flat out end things with this person. For others of you, what I'm kind of getting primarily for the vast majority of you, um, I kind of see you telling this person that you might need your space from them uh, for quite some time. And that in itself is going to be extremely alarming and concerning for your person. Again, for a lot of you, I don't... How do I say this? I don't see you like actually confronting this person on what has you so worked up slash pissed off. I don't see you doing that. If anything, like if you stumble across this information, you're gonna just kind of bite down on your tongue and keep it to yourself and go into contemplation mode, whether or not this is something that you wanna to continue to be a part of. But yeah, this person looks extremely confused. Like they don't know what the hell is going on. Like all of this shit is just kind of hitting this person out of the blue and they don't really know what to make of the situation. They don't. But the only thing that they are concerned about is this relationship coming to an end. It's the only thing that this person is really concerned about right now. I wonder what they did. I wonder what they did. What did they do? Um, I feel like everybody's situation is going to be different. But I want to look into it just, just really quickly. Um... <laughs> Uh, tell me more about the devil and the five of wands. Okay, we have the ace of pentacles. We also have the fool. We got the queen of wands. And then we also have the world at the bottom of the deck. We do have the empress with the page of cups. And then we also have the nine of cups. For a lot of you, you could very well be uh, worked up because this person might have a lot of people like throwing themselves at them or, or trying to essentially get with them or flirt with them. For some of you, it might, it might, you know, that might be, it might definitely be the case. But I'm not feeling that for all of you, though. I'm not feeling that for all of you. So just keep that in mind that for some of you, that might very well be the case. And for others of you, that's definitely not the case. It could very well just be something else because everybody's situation is going to be different. That's why I don't really like to go into like full blown detail because again, everybody's situation is going to be very, very different. Uh, how does Capricorn currently feel? We have the page of swords. We also have the three of pentacles. We also have the eight of pentacles. The bottom of the deck, we do have, come on, we have the Nine of Swords. We also have the Hermit with the Moon, and then we also have the Ace of Swords. But like I said, Capricorn, when you stumble across this very, very upsetting information, um, it is going to, like I said, piss you off, but it's going to put you in this place of contemplation mode, and it's also going to kind of cause you to want to retract and distance yourself from this person, so you could really think long and hard about what it is that you want to do moving forward. Like, do you still want to continue to be a part of this relationship with this person, or do you want to just end things between you and this person what do you want to do okay um and i kind of feel like you know what it is that you're doing as far as retracting your energy is concerned is a very healthy decision on your behalf um especially because it's giving you that time to think to yourself on what it is that you want to do without this person in your ear you know what i mean now whatever this is that you're stumbling across that has you all worked up and upset I don't feel like it's anything severe. I do want to kind of say that. I don't feel like it's anything severe. Like, um, how do I say this? 
I don't feel like it's, it's them essentially cheating on you or having a baby with somebody else. Like, I don't feel like it's that fucking severe. That's one thing that I will say. But nonetheless, right? It's it's still upsetting you. It's still pissing you off. It's still rubbing you the wrong way, right? Um, and you're entitled to totally feel the way that you feel. But I want to kind of emphasize on that, that. I don't feel like it's something severe, like to the point where this person cheated on you or... They went and had a baby with somebody else. Like, I don't feel like it's that severe. I really don't feel like it's that severe. It does kind of feel like uh, something minor. It does kind of feel like something that the two of you can essentially work past. But then again, the decision is entirely up to you. Let's look at this person. How does this person currently feel? We have the Knight of Swords. We also have the Ace of pentacles and then we also have the ace of wands at the bottom of the deck we do have the hangman we also have the lovers and then we also have temperance and then we also have interesting the ace of cups and then we have the page of swords we got three aces out here the only thing that we're after well you have the ace of swords actually now that i think about it um all the aces basically represent the magician energy this is interesting because your person already suspects slash feels like this shit is coming to an end and it's kind of putting this person in this state of, of panic is the best way I can kind of describe what it is that I'm seeing. Um, I kind of feel like this person is going to try to really come in and butter you up and call you a biscuit. Like they'll probably go down like the, the list of everything that they've done for you and how much they care about you and how much they love you and how much they don't want to be without you. So just expect that to essentially happen here um i just kind of feel like this person is trying to get this relationship back to a place where it doesn't have them feeling the way that they currently feel right now which is lost confused and also very very scared because it's causing this person to essentially feel like this relationship is coming to a fucking end and i can't allow that shit to happen uh that's the overall energy that this person's coming in with but i do kind of feel like this person's gonna like bombard you you know with their love and and kind of you know go down the list of all of the things that they've done for you and how much they care about you and blah 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 um in hopes right in hopes that that'll essentially lure you back in so then there's that did temperance come out yes actually temperance came out twice you had temperance on your side now this person has temperance and the devil only came out one time so that's kind of telling me that's that double confirmation right there that whatever has you so worked up and keep in mind for those of you who haven't stumbled across this information just yet but whatever has you so worked up uh capricorn yes it's upsetting yes it's going to piss you off but it's nothing severe it's nothing severe like them cheating on you um or like i said having a baby with somebody else like it's nothing like it's not that severe but nonetheless it's still upsetting but with temperance coming out here twice that's kind of like divine intervention like i kind of feel like you know the divine is trying to pull the two of you back together to kind of work things out with one another and maybe it's because the two of you are just supposed to be together you know i mean it could just be that simple maybe the divine wants the two of you still together right um but at the end of the day, you have free will. The decision is entirely up to you, as I mentioned. But it kind of looks like the ball is definitely in your court. That's one thing that I that I will say. What actions? Okay. We have the Ten of Swords. Again, we also have the Six of Wands. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles. Let's look at you, Capricorn. That's kind of what I want to see. What actions will Capricorn take towards this person or moving forward? We got justice at the bottom of the deck, which does speak of a decision. Uh, so let's see. What actions will Capricorn take towards this person or moving forward? Jesus, temperance came out how many times? Three times? Yeah, three times. That's weird. The temperance, uh, temperance card came out three times. You could very well be connecting with a Sagittarius strongly. You might even have Sag within your chart. They might have Sag within their chart. But we have Temperance again with the Four of Swords. And then we also have the Seven of Swords. The bottom of the deck, we do have Justice with the Four of Cups. And then we have the High Priestess. All right, let's focus on you first. And then we'll jump over to them because I kind of feel like 
how you plan on moving forward is going to definitely affect your person to the right of me. With Temperance to the Four of Swords to the Seven of Swords being out here, I kind of feel like when you decide to retract your energy from this person, you're going to you're going to realize a whole lot. You're going to realize that your mind is at ease. You're not sitting around stressing over this person and what it is that they're up to and, you know, what they're doing and what they're not doing. And I kind of feel like you're going to find yourself really enjoying that sense of peace of mind. Because I, I don't necessarily feel like you have that peace of mind while being in this relationship with this person, all right? And I kind of feel like you're going to realize that very, very soon that, you know, with you distancing yourself from this person and for some, even redirecting your attention onto other things, you're going to notice that sense of peace of mind coming over you to the point where it might cause you to want to basically walk away from the situation and not revisit this connection anymore between you and this person. I mean, with justice to the four of cups to the high priestess being out here, there is no real final decision being made on your behalf though. Like, even though you're noticing that, man, like when I'm away from this person, like I feel a lot better about myself, my energy's, you know, a lot better. Um, and that could have a lot to do with the simple fact that a lot of you may not have that peace of mind within this relationship. And that could very well be the case. But a decision needs to be made. That's kind of besides the point here. A decision needs to be made, but you're not making it. You're not making it. I kind of see you continuing to kind of give this person the silent treatment. Um, you know that there is a decision ultimately that you have to make when it comes on to your relationship with this person. You're just not making that decision. Um, you're just not making it. And, and that's the thing. Like even moving forward, look at this. This has nothing to do with this person, by the way. We have the Ace of Pentacles to the Empress card to the Queen of Wands to the Knight of Pentacles to the Ace of Wands. That's somebody who's very, very focused on their career. That's somebody who's very focused on the, their overall growth and their expansion. You know, I just kind of see you doing a lot of things that are going to bring a lot of abundance and stability and growth into your life. But I don't really, I don't really see you taking time out to really figure out, Capricorn, if being a part of this relationship with this person is something that you honestly want to do, you know, moving forward anyways. But we have the Ten of Swords. We also have the Six of Wands with the Seven of Pentacles. And then we also have the Queen of Swords with the Magician. And then we also have the Ten of Wands. That's that overall energy of somebody who currently finds themselves in a state of not only panic, but also suspense. Because you're not really telling this person, yes, you know, I want us to come together and work things out. Or no, I don't. You know, you're, you're leaving this person in the air. More of the story. And with the Ten of Swords to the Six of Wands to the Seven of Pentacles, this is kind of like the epitome of somebody essentially feeling like you don't necessarily want to be with them. Why? Because this person sees you extremely occupied and busy on other things like work and your career and your own personal life and things of that nature. You are in a way kind of sweeping your issues with this person under the rug. And that has a lot to do with the simple fact that, you know, a lot of you just don't really know what the hell to do. You don't know if you want to continue to be a part of this relationship or not, but there's other things that are calling your attention, like work and, you know, manifesting the life that you want for yourself, that you are in a way kind of sweeping this whole entire situation under the rug, Capricorn, I'm gonna be honest. But this person sees that you're choosing to kind of prioritize other things and not what's currently playing out here between you and them, okay? Um, and I kind of feel like for the most part, it is, and I don't blame this person, it's kind of causing this person to kind of feel like this relationship is heading to a fucking end. And it's making this person very, very sad. It's making this person very sad. With the Three of Swords to the Two Tens, and then we got the Five of Cups, this person might even be like shedding tears over this whole entire situation because the the route that you're taking and the way that you're kind of handling this whole entire situation, they're kind of putting two and two together that, yeah, this relationship is coming to an end. And if it's one thing that I will say is that this relationship, it means a lot to this person. And the fact that they essentially feel like this relationship is just flat out coming to an end, you know... The pain is being felt nonetheless. The pain is definitely being felt. I'm not saying this relationship is coming to an end. Um, only you can decide if this relationship is coming to an end. But the way that you're moving, it's definitely causing this person to essentially feel like it is. Any advice for Capricorn? Oh. I don't think I've ever seen this combo. 
We have codependency, which is very similar to the devil. We also have wedding, and then we also have release your ex. Codependency, like I said, that basically represents the devil, and temperance came out three times. That's kind of telling me that there is still potential to salvage your marriage, salvage your relationship with this person, but I got to be honest. You know, I just kind of feel like a lot has happened within this relationship between you and this person that's causing you to essentially feel like you don't want to continue to suffer anymore while being in this relationship with this person. Like, granted, you know, the two of you have definitely built, you know, a very beautiful relationship together, but it has, unfortunately... It hasn't, it hasn't been the best possibly lately and it's causing you to essentially feel like I gotta let this go. But anyways, your overall advice before you decide to essentially let this go is to really retract your energy as you can see here with separation and think long and hard about whether or not letting this relationship go is something that you want to do, okay? Because like I said, and I'll say this again, this relationship, this marriage, it could still very well be salvaged, but it all kind of depends on you. If you feel like, you know what, this is just not healthy for me, I have to let this go, then let this go. You know what I mean? But if you if you feel like, you know what, let me give this person a second chance, let's see if this time around it will be different, then obviously there's a possibility that two of you can come together and salvage your relationship or marriage. But the, the the ball is definitely in your court um and this person essentially feels like they have zero control over what's currently going on like i said they're gonna try to butter you up and call you a biscuit i see them doing that but they're not gonna really get so far as far as buttering you up and calling you a biscuit is concerned um because i think that your whole thing is is that you're just tired of going through shit with this person like you would want nothing more but for things to be great here between you and them but the fact that this person, I guess, keeps putting you through a lot of stuff. You know, you're you're kind of starting to essentially feel like you're you're being loyal to the wrong person. You're giving yourself to the wrong person. You're investing into the wrong person, and you don't necessarily feel like that's fair for you. Um, and if it's one thing, I will say that this person does acknowledge the fact that you've given a lot to this whole entire situation. You have been amazing to this person and they may have not been the best to you, but they are acknowledging the fact that this relationship isn't, it, it's not easy for you. They're acknowledging that. They're definitely acknowledging that it's not easy for you by any means, but they just don't want to lose you. They want you to continue to be a part of this relationship that the two of you share with one another. But like I said... The decision is entirely up to you, all right? Um, I just kind of feel like you're, you're really tired of allowing this whole entire situation between you and this person to take away that sense of happiness and that sense of joy within you, but also that peace of mind within you. Because for a Capricorn, for all earth signs, especially air signs, you know, like that, that peace of mind means fucking everything to earth signs and also air signs. So, I mean, I get it, but I feel like it means a lot to every zodiac sign now that I think about it. But mainly like the earth signs and the air signs because they tend to kind of overthink things quite a bit. And that's why I say that. But I'm pretty sure the peace of mind means everything to everybody. But yeah, that's what I have for you, Capricorn. Um, also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram username is Milagros Tarot. No numbers, no underscores, just Milagros Tarot. It's also linked in the description box down below for those of you who do want to follow me on there. But other than that, Capricorn, I'm really hoping that this reading um, helped you and hopefully... Hopefully, hopefully you end up making a decision very, very soon because if not, this person's going to kind of lose their shit if you don't, okay? Um, and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.